Email Marketing Mastery, how to grow your email list from scratch. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths and I love talking about the online world and how you can grow your business. And one of the key ways that you can do this is through your email list. And that means building a system that is going to get you consistent leads. So once you've got your landing page, and I've got a video all about that, you want to also have consistent leads so that you can be bringing people to your email list. So how do you do that? Well, I'm gonna share a few strategies that I use to do that, whether that is through blogging, through videos like this one on YouTube, and if you want to see what I do, then you could perhaps check out my five ways to supercharge your email list, my freebie below, that can walk you through every step of this. And, and if you want to check out my freebie that will give you a clue of how I do this, check out my five ways to supercharge your email list. Check out that below. And we're also gonna look at blogging and also ways that you can do it, whether that's through LinkedIn or Instagram, to also grow your email list. When it comes to growing your email list, you want to take people off your social media, such as Instagram, to your um, whatever email list you may have. So it might be that you're putting a link in um, so that people can see it in your bio or on your Instagram stories. It might be on your LinkedIn, and I'd love to connect with, with you on LinkedIn. It may be that you are linking to some kind of freebie that you're offering. So um, my link here goes to my free resources on my website, where there's a host of different opportunities, depending on what I'm talking about, where people can sign up to different opt-ins, or um, you know, in this case, um, also to take a quiz about if they're ready to create an online course. So that's one way for you to take people from social media onto your email list. But there's other ways that you can do it too. One of the great things, if you are giving a talk, so let's imagine you're on stage, you're giving a talk, and within the talk you might say, oh, I'm, you know, you're talking about a particular topic, and then you say, if you want some more help with this, then here's my QR code, click on this and you can um, access a free guide I have on this topic. And so you're immediately offering help that in the moment, it's not afterwards where they're not going to do it. They're in the moment, they're going to screenshot that because they're listening, they're going to take action. And it's an easy way for you to transition. So whether you're giving a presentation or some kind of webinar training or you're speaking on stage, you can use the QR code, people are an attentive audience, and they're gonna move across simply through the QR code. And I'm using Bitly to create my QR codes, but there's multiple places you can do that. I often, if I'm doing a meditation or something like that, or I'm talking about some something that's more spiritual, I will offer my meditation. So this is a free meditation that they can access. It's a kind of guided visualization. And so it's rather than it being some kind of ebook, it could be um, something like a visualization. So it's, it's recorded, it's, you know, some lovely sound, it's inspiring for people. And immediately, this is an opt-in page that's very simple, a strong call to action, simple bullet points, doesn't need to be masses of text, it's just, you know, three or four bullet points to get people moving, and then here's, you know, get this free, whatever it may be, and there you go, you're calling them, getting them in to that particular offering. Here we are on the I Will Teach You To Be Rich website, which I love, um, by Ramit Sethi, and um, he has immediately on his, you go to the blog, and it's Insights for a Rich Life. So immediately, you are joining the Rich Life Insiders, and you're giving your name and your email address. There's the blogs below, but it, it, it's tempting. It makes you think, oh yeah, I want to know more. And I was just looking at the Michael Hyatt website, which has just been rebranded, you know, so he's a big name in the online world. And immediately I was drawn to what's your life score? 
So that makes me go, oh, what is my life score? I'm interested in this. So essentially, it's a marketing quiz, but I want to know more. So you click on it and then, um, oh, set goals where you need the most. Oh, yes, I want to know more. So design your picture perfect life. Oh, different goals, different areas of your life. Great, let's go. Get started. So immediately you get going with um, all of those questions. So if we click through, I'm going to answer all of these questions. We'll soon see... Um, Okay, so we've got to the end. Now, let's see the final phrase. So final step, da-da, of course. <laughs> the whole process of that quiz was for us to put in our name, our email address, and who we are. So they can then, if we say, oh, we're a business owner, they're gonna, they're gonna cater that content. Or C-suite, they're gonna, they're gonna choose different content but immediately that is knowing a great deal about our life from that one quiz and they can tailor if we say our relationships are off they're going to tailor content to relationships being off or finances being off or um, physical health being off and so it's amazing what information they've just garnered from that one quiz another way that you can do it is by talking about let's say a particular course that you have a particular offering and then you can be saying oh if you want to know more about this check out my masterclass and then just like this I'm offering here's my free masterclass get the all the info click they're going to put in those details and then there they go straight to watch the masterclass so there's so many different ways that you can build an email list. And I've just given you a sprinkling of those options. But really start thinking for your business, what suits you? Whether it's a quiz. Now quizzes, I love them. I have several quizzes, but I will tell you they are pretty full on and intense because to get a quiz right takes a lot of work, a different, you know, different sales pages and all these different off offerings. So I wouldn't start with a quiz. I would start thinking about some kind of freebie, some kind of opt-in that's easy. But once you've got that up and running, then you can move to sales pages for quizzes and all of those things. And quizzes are so beautiful in what they can create because you've seen all of those different options and you can tailor a sales page um, to create an offering that suits that particular person. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. I share loads of tips to help you build and grow in the online world. Please click the link to subscribe and don't forget my freebie, five ways to supercharge your email list. And if you like this video, please subscribe, click on the link below and I'd love to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, bye, bye.